Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lizard Boy here. And for today, I actually got a review for you guys. And for this review, we're gonna be going over the 1995 Bandai Movie Monster Series Gamera from Gamera Guardian of the Universe. And for this review guys, I'm actually gonna take my sweet time to get into details and to make sure I do this review properly for you guys because I feel like a lot of times I always do a rush or I always messed up and stuff like that but this one I'm finally gonna get a chance to actually do it properly for you guys and sorry about the lighting though I'm trying to get more light in here though the best I can for the for this video but I'm trying to look on trying to work on it a little more but for the figure I've actually got this back last year I think for Christmas actually though for a Christmas gift from one of my family members and this has to be the very first gamer figure I ever gotten though I have all the movies but a figure for him though of gamer though I do not have which this is from the uh, the Heisei line from the gamer movies though there's only like three and this was absolutely stunning when I took it out of the package though, the gift wrapping I should say though, when I got it for Christmas. But before I give my final thoughts on it though, or anything like that, I want to get do a breakdown for this figure though. I gotta say, this is one of a kind. This is an awesome Gamera figure. I love, I do love the Gamera series though. I, I know more of the Godzilla guy, but Gamera's pretty cool though. I still love watching all the movies and everything like that. So this is the uh, 1995 uh, Gamera though. Like I said, Gamera Guardian of the Universe. And he actually does come with this pretty cool looking tag though. I gotta say, this is the better looking tag i ever seen though from a Bandai figure. You got a picture of Gamera though and you got the Gamera logo 1995. On the other side of it, though, you can actually get a poster of the movie, though, where he's finding Gauss. And that's actually pretty cool. And you open up, you got some legal mumbo jumbo, and a nice good uh, show up picture of Gamma right there. Which is pretty cool. <coughs> but that's basically the, uh, the tag for him, though. And the tag is staying on. I definitely want to keep the tag on it, though and the figure himself though and I'll go ahead and we'll start with the top part with his head which is actually well beyond sculpted though I gotta say well beyond sculpted though you get inside the mouth and look at the detail in the mouth the tongue the throat you get the back of the throat his teeth and his tusks though get a nice pinkish though inside the mouth though which is actually really nice I look at that detail though it's just you see his tongue and the whole mouth though it's really really nice though and I prefer my Bandai figures with the open mouth though you get more of a roaring uh, pose from them though and you get the eyes look at the eyes they're detailed too I don't remember them being green in the movie though oh wait yeah I do now I remember though you see the black pupil and the white around the eyes and it's green though it's really nice and his tusks though are actually really nice though too on the sides <clears throat> I mean you basically get one solid color throughout the whole figure which is this dark kind of greenish though throughout the whole body including his shell the shell is really nice detail too all the scales and oh uh, well I don't know how you say a a sh what it is a well it's the shell though the turtle of a turtle though but you don't call these scales I'm pretty sure there's a different name for this though I'm pretty sure it's just scales and you see all the grooves and everything like that which is actually really nice how the depth in though um yeah on the chest part too which is actually pretty nice how like in a like how a normal tur uh, turtle is though for gamma though you see how the how they detail inside the uh, his shell though, right here too though, all the grooves, all the lines though, and the they went in depth with this figure though, which is actually what I really love though. 
It's like spot on from the movie though. One of the better Bandai's I've ever gotten though. No offense though to other ones. Uh, not having any complaints about this though. I mean, you kind of see where, yeah, you kind of see right here. There's a line going around through the whole body of the head, like they were trying to make it look articulated. I don't think that's what they're going for though, but they just stuck it right in there. But the head doesn't articulate though. Uh, the arms do, but not too much though. And clean the feet too. The other one. And the tail actually does too though, which is a bit weird. Goes all the way around. And you got the nice bone whites on his claws though, on his hands. And clean the feet. And you can see the detail on the feet though, like how they're like webbed feet though, the way they are. Which is actually pretty nice. Uh, and you got some legal stuff on the bottom of the feet though. Mumble we'll jump on. The tail's pretty nice too though. It's a nice long tail for him though too, for being a tur for being a turtle though. You see how the way the grooves are throughout the whole top of it too though. And you see how the scales are? On the bottom though, which is actually really, really nice though. I see the butt. I don't know if you guys can see that. The bottom part, there's the bottom part. How it all connects us through the body though, through a shell though. How the way the. It's shaping out though, and everything like that, which is pretty interesting how they did that though. Even for the suit though, too, like in the actual movie though, too. Compare it to a Bandai that which is actually pretty nice. Um, I forgot how tall he is. Uh, I think it's a little more than six. I think it's six point five inches tall, though. The way it is. Um, but like I said, I got no complaints about this. This is actually one of the better Gamera figures I actually got, and probably like the. I mean, I do have another one though, but I'll probably do a review for him later for another video if you guys want to see that. But this is like the like I said, this is the very first gamer figure I ever got though. Believe me, I have a hard time finding stuff like that, and some that are a bit pricey though. And like I said, I got this one for a Christmas gift. I'm kind of curious if they actually do make a flying form of him, and. I kind of noticed too in the paints of the the toes in a way though like the you guys can see that like can kind of airbrush the toes actually a little bit too off the sides on then probably put the rest of the body of the paint though on it too and luckily it doesn't I mean it does that though but luckily it doesn't tip over or anything like that and like good nice walk for him though and everything like that which is pretty good uh, for size comparison though, I got the Playmates Godzilla right here. Uh, kind of stands pretty good though, tall. Probably same size. And I got the NECA King Kong. Uh, the Kong's a little bit taller, but nice, like I said, it's a nice 6.5 inches figure though, the way it is though. But, I think that will do it for this review for you guys, though. I do have a feeling like I missed something, though, but I don't know what. But, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoy it, though. I'll put a link in the description below for my Instagram, though. Make sure you guys follow me there. But, I will, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching this review for you guys, uh, review for you guys but... I'll see you guys and talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.